So on this channel I like to release videos on very specific um, cars and also uh, things to the general public that you know if you like cars just in general you'll be interested in. Um, this is one of those videos that's for just general car fans and it's six things that I found in an article that, uh, that you should know about the upcoming uh, Bugatti Chiron. I actually thought it was Chiron but I think it's Chiron. We can argue that in the comments. So let's start it off. The W16 8 liter quad turbo produces a total of 1,480 horsepower and 1,107 pounds feet of torque. It'll have a 7 speed DSG transmission as standard. 0 to 62 should only take 2.3 seconds. More impressively, 0 to 186 will come in just 15 seconds. And most impressively, the top speed is to be expected of 311 miles per hour. Uh, fourth, there are 20 inch tires up front and 21 inch units out back, all wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport Pax tires, and paired with 420 millimeter front and 400 millimeter rear disc brakes. Uh, for a little comparison, there, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS has 380 millimeters at all four corners. There will also be 15 radiators to cool the engine down. Uh, in comparison there, the Veyron has only 10. I say only 10, like that's all. Um, the exterior design is going to be essentially a tuned down version of the Gran Turismo concept, and that's what I'm showing here in most of these images, the, the blue car. Uh, I think that's actually at Detroit this week as well, but um, I'm definitely excited to see this car. I'm, I'm really not a huge fan of, of Bugatti, uh, of the Veyron, I mean, it, it's speed. Uh, it, speed is extremely impressive, but it's just not my uh, style of car. I'm more into something like an STI that you could actually put the power down on the roads. And I'd feel like if I owned a car like this, I'd be extremely worried about it all the time. But nonetheless, the engineering in this thing is going to be groundbreaking. Breaking. It's going to be probably class leading if you put it up against the La Ferrari. Uh, McLaren P1 or the 918. So that'll be interesting. Maybe Top Gear uh, be able to get their hands on a couple of those and be able to compare them. But um, we'll just have to find out and see. Put your comments below and uh, thank you for watching.